The first step in determining the right hitch for your vehicle is very crucial. Drive your vehicle onto a level surface. Concrete or asphalt are ideal. Grass, sand, or dirt will result in an incorrect measurement. Now, measure the inside diameter of your vehicle's receiver. This measurement will be either two, two and a half, or three inches. The only vehicles that will have three inch receivers are some 2017 and newer Ford F-250s, F-350s, and F-450s. Ford is the only truck manufacturer to make three inch receivers. Make sure the tape measure is level with the ground. As you can see, this TRX has a two inch receiver. Next, take the tape measure and measure from the ground to the bottom of the inside of the receiver. Make sure the tape measure is straight up and down. The bottom of the receiver on our TRX is 21 inches. If we apply the measurement to our chart display, you can see we need a 2-inch shank with a 6-inch drop for our TRX. Depending on the max trailer and tongue weight that this TRX will haul, we recommend the medium-duty or the heavy-duty hitch. Next, we will be determining the right size hitch for this Ram 3500. Again, take a tape measure and measure the inside diameter of the receiver. Make sure the tape measure is level with the ground. As you can see, this 3500 has a receiver size of two and a half inches. Next, take the tape measure and measure from the ground straight up to the bottom of the inside of the receiver. This measurement is 21 inches. Based on our chart, the two hitch options for this truck are a heavy duty, two and a half inch shank, six inch drop, or the extreme duty, two and a half inch shank, six inch drop. For 2,500 to 5,500 vehicles, we recommend the heavy duty or extreme duty hitch, depending on the max trailer and tongue weight that the vehicle will encounter. Next, we will be determining the right size hitch for this Ford F-350. We will again measure the inside of the receiver. This time, the receiver is three inches. Again, 2017 and newer Ford F-250, F-350, and F-450 are the only trucks that will have a three-inch receiver. When we measure from the ground to the bottom of the inside of the receiver, we get a measurement of 25 inches. Based on our measurements, the heavy-duty three-inch shank, 10-inch drop, or the extreme-duty three-inch shank, 10-inch drop are the best options for this F-350. Some vehicles' receiver heights are low to the ground, and it is ideal for the hitch to be in the rise position. This Mercedes GLS 450 has a 2-inch receiver and a receiver height of 14 and a half inches. Since the height is only 14 and a half inches, the best hitch for this vehicle is a medium-duty 2-inch shank, 6-inch drop used in the rise position. Using it in the rise position will not affect the hitch's towing capacity or performance. You should also consider how much your vehicle will squat when towing. If your truck squats more than four inches while towing, compared to its unloaded height, it is best advised to pick the next shorter drop hitch. For example, this TRX squats five inches when the tractor drives onto the trailer. Since the truck's rear sinks more than four inches, it is recommended to have the next shorter drop hitch. This will eliminate the threat of running your hitch aground. If you plan on towing off-road, you will need to watch our video on choosing the right hitch for off-roading.